cheeky little Christmas market here in Lincoln while we do a bit of charity shopping. It's absolutely rammed. I need to uh, stop this video before I get copyrighted. Ah! So we are now back from Lincoln and I must admit the actual Christmas market part of it was far better than the actual charity shops. The charity shops were absolutely dreadful. We picked up some good stuff but not a lot. I think it's still going to be pretty high on the table because what we did pick up has got some seriously good value. Uh, it's just not a lot of stuff. So it's quality over quantity in today's video. I must do apologise, I must do, I must do apologise for the lack of lighting in the next few videos. I am currently at my parents and um, the lights aren't too great for YouTube. But anyway, without further ado guys, please smash that like button and let's get into today's haul. So before we start, we did actually spend a whopping 36 and 99p 36 pound and 99p or something like this this is going to be a charity shop showdown video so the totals will be either here or in this corner um let's start off with these beautiful beautiful pair of nice sort of dark brown pair of lopes you probably did see me pick these up in the shop paid a whopping 10 pound really nice and sort of good condition size seven so slightly smaller than i would like to pick up but at the end of the day I could still probably push around the 32 to 35 pound mark. Lokes have started to decline and decrease in value. There's obviously a lot of us finding them out in the wild now. And it's just to be expected, really, isn't it? Lokes are very good, made in England, Northampton sort of shoe. Really nice, sturdy shoe and a nice, comfortable 35 pound. We then picked up this beautiful corduroy jacket by a brand called Pretty Green. Pretty Green is a solid brand, not as good as it used to be, but it still has some value, especially sort of garments like this. This is quite unique, quite quirky, quite cool. It's a nice corduroy jacket, size XL, nice neutral color in the black. It will pretty much go with most outfits and it still has a huge following this brand. Pretty Green is a massive brand. It's actually, well, it was owned by the Gallagher brothers, one of the Gallagher brothers anyway. Not too sure if he sold it on, but this is where this sort of brand comes from. It's like a Manchester Gallagher sort of collaboration thing. It's pretty bloody cool. It's awesome. It's cool. It'll probably fetch around about the 30 to 35 pound mark. And when you're only paying four pound for an item like this, which will absolutely fly off, it's an absolute no brainer. We then picked up this beautiful brand new and sealed Haya puzzle. It is the Forgotten series by a company called Hay always always do check the prices of this company h-e-y-e -E. seems to be really good value especially if the puzzle's brand new and that's why i was always taking a punt on six pound and 99p this should go for about the 40 pound mark there has been a couple sold for 40 quid not the quickest sellers but brand new item just in time for Christmas, a puzzle, a strong brand. It has everything going for it. It ticks all them reselling points and positivity and all that rubbish. And this should be uh, an easy £40. This is in fact the last item of today. However, we will go into the garage because I have bought another item. It just won't fit in the house. A lot of you guys compare me to like the English hairy tornado. It must be the beard. It must be the things we do. And the next item that I'm about to show you will probably confirm that I am literally the UK version of Hairy Tornado. However, this is the item in question in today's episode. <sighs> Legit or not, this is a pair of Stone Island denim jeans. I was always, always going to pick them up for £3.75p. I am not too sure. It's always nice to get other people's opinions. That is the badge, if you can see that nice and clearly. This is the sort of, well, yeah, whatever. This is flipping cool, to be honest. Stone Island. Again, I'm not a proclaimed expert in Stone Island whatsoever. So I'm just going to give you some sort of close-ups of the tags. Uh, I was always going to pick it up for £3.75p just in case. Just in case. Wash label. Size 30. <sighs> If any of you guys know, then please do let me know. 
I'm swaying towards the fake because three pound seventy five Stone Island. It's just it's, it's unheard of. If these are real, then you could look anywhere between the seventy to a hundred pound pair of jeans. Um, I seen one go on bids. Well, on bids like two days left, and it's already at fifty odd quid. So like you can easily get a hundred pound. I'd have thought for a pair of jeans. Size is a little bit small, but I was always picking up Stone Island jeans for a whopping £3.75. pence. Hopefully they are real, but at the end of the day, I pick stuff up like this to learn, and it's always good to learn. I now know if this isn't real, I now know to look at different things. Hopefully you guys will be able to tell me, or at least advise. Um, if you do know, then do please let me know in the comment section below. But the haul hasn't finished yet. This isn't going to go in the grand total just because I'm not sure on the legitimacy of it. But these, what I'm going to show you next, is going to be a nice juicy profit. So, the hairy tornado inside of me decided to buy some golf clubs. Uh, I only really wanted one club, which was this nice 52 degree Zebra Ram lob wedge. However... I basically brought the whole lot. He was charging £5 for one club or £10 for the lot. So obviously the reseller in me thought we had to take them all. So a few things to point out. The Adams golf bag itself is a beautiful big size golf bag. And I should, believe it or not, for a golf brand of Adams Golf, I should get about £60 for the bag itself. Absolutely flipping ridiculous. And then we actually move on to the golf clubs themselves. This is fairly decent one. This is probably around about the 40 to 30 pound mark. This is the King Cobra 355S as said, offset titanium. This is the one wood which should go for about the 30 to 40 pound mark. This is absolutely stunning condition. Obviously, there's going to be a few scuffs and scratches, but yeah, should be looking at a comfortable. £30 back from this. Another golf club that's worth selling on its own are these PPS2s MD Golf 3 wood, 15 degree sort of angle on the club. That's what the 15 degree. There is a slight, ever so slightly dented there, but not, not too bad. Maybe I won't sell this individually, but if it didn't have the dent, you're probably looking at another £25 for this. Like I said, this is the original golf club I wanted, a 52 degree lob wedge zebra made by the company called ram i think you can just can you just see it there probably not it's not focusing at all but the ram is a very very good brand and zebra is another sub sort of model number zebra 52 degree lob wedge oh this should get about 35 pound which is an absolute flipping bargain when remember i will probably get like 10 listings from this club golf set but yeah this is going to be sold separately for sure at first i was fairly interested in this callaway big bertha callaway is a phenomenal golf brand so definitely be on the lookout for this if you do want to start some selling some golf stuff this is the big bertha three word black dot this should be fetching around about the 30 pound mark as well so nice little profit from there remember that everything you're going to see in the next few clips uh, owes me 10 pound and the bag itself is going to be 60 quid anyway so yeah and ps these are actually my golf clubs i have four golf clubs of this sort of model md golf these are the tour oversized heads so they've got slightly bigger heads than normal golf clubs and these should be a comfortable 20 pound each so i've got one two three and four at least four of them the slazenger ones aren't worth selling on their own and this putter, in fact, that I'm going to show you right now, is a white magic. This is, again, another easy 20 to £25. Pound. So you can definitely see why I picked up this set of golf clubs. We've got 50-odd quid. We've got another 20, another 30, £20 pound each for the irons, and another £25 pound for the putter. It's an absolute banger. And to finish off the golf haul, we got two brand new and sealed packaged Callaway golf gloves. These retail at about £15 and I should be able to get £10 each, including free posters. So that's another £20 secured from a golf set that cost me a whopping £10 flipping pound. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hopefully you have learned something new with the golf stuff. Hopefully... 
it makes sense. There's, I'll, say, I'll show you a few brands. You've got Callaway, King Cobra, uh, Nike. Then, you know, Callaway is a beastie brand, guys. If I can teach you anything, just remember to have a look at your golf clubs. If you need any help, then please don't hesitate to message me on Instagram. If you've got any golf clubs that you want to sell, just let me know and I'll help you work out a price. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Lincoln probably ends mid-table, but there'll be a table here where Lincoln does finish up. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wicked Christmas and the run-up of Christmas is special for you guys. I've been your boy, Kieran, and I'll see you tomorrow. Boom.